What if I told you that right now on the dark web, there's a hacker named USDOD selling your personal information for less than the price of a cup of coffee? Buckle up folks, we're about to jump into a cyber thriller that makes the Ocean's Eleven look like child's play. What's up cyber heroes? Boyd Clue is here and boy do I have a story for you. So this is a good time to grab your popcorn because this tale of hackers and blunders and hundreds of millions of exposed social security numbers is better than any Netflix series. So before you go get your popcorn, make sure you like this video. So let's set the scene. It's December 2023. And while you are sipping your eggnog and singing Christmas carols, a shadowy figure known as USDOD is pulling off one of the biggest data heists in history. Fast forward to April of 2024, USDOD starts selling this treasure trove of data on the dark web. But here's where it gets interesting. In July, another hacker decided to leak the entire database for free. So let's talk about the numbers. This breach exposed the personal information of over 272 million people. That's nearly the entire adult population in the United States of America. The company at the center of this data breach is National Public Data. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it really is public data now. I'm sorry. They are what's known as a consumer data broker. Essentially, they collect and sell personal information, but that's not all. NPD has a sister company by the name of Records Check. And this is where things get even more concerning. Records Check left their admin password in a zip file on their public website until today, literally into August 19th, 2024. And as a security consultant for some of the largest companies in the world, this level of carelessness doesn't surprise me one bit. I have seen it far too many times. And this is why security best practices from sources like NIST, CIS, and even the PCI DSS standards recommend number one, removing all default user accounts and passwords from systems before they go live. Number two, encrypting all passwords during storage and transmission. Number three, do not hard code passwords into files or scripts. Number four, third party vendor due diligence. Number five, incident response plan. Shall I continue? I didn't think so. So let's talk about who's behind all of this. The company, NPD, was actually founded by Salvatore Salverini, an actor and retired sheriff's deputy from Florida. The website itself was built by a company in Lahore, Pakistan called Creation Next. This international connection adds another layer of complexity to this situation. But I know you're wondering, what does this really mean for you? Let's break it down. Number one, your social security number, address, and phone number might be exposed. Number two, there's an increased risk of identity theft. And number three, your credit score could be in danger. However, guys, there's no need to panic because I have your personal cybersecurity incident response plan. And I need you to follow these instructions. Number one, freeze your credit reports immediately. Immediately. Number two, check your credit reports weekly because it's free. And number three, be vigilant about unexpected emails or financial activity. And number four, guys, which I believe is the most important, do not put your information into a website that is claiming it can let you know if you have been a victim of some type of fraud or data breach. The reason why is oftentimes after a massive breach, hackers will create these websites enticing people just like you to input their information so that they can then hack you in return, right? Don't fall for the trick. It's called phishing or social engineering. Don't do it. Just follow the process that I've laid out here and then you should be okay. If you got value from this video, like this video and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, in this day and age, knowledge is power. Okay, applied knowledge is power. Now that you know, you need to do. Share this video with someone that could use this information that was shared in this video. So, Cyber Heroes, that is it for this video. I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe. Peace.